there's something incredibly fascinating about looking at stress in the biological domain. And that is simply that this comes as a bit of a surprise to so many people. Uh, because, you know, the reality is that that's where the science of stress all began. It began by looking at biological stresses, stimuli that were stresses on, the physiolog on you know, our physiological system because they were taking us outside of our optimal range for various systems. And now here we are, um, you know, in 2017, and we have to go back and relearn all this, not only because this is where the science starts, but in fact, with pretty much all of the children that w or teens that we work with and pretty much all of the adults that we work with, stress starts here, stress starts biologically. As we go through the rest of the domains, what we find is biological stress is always a central factor. Whether or not it's the primary factor, it's always a central factor. So this is the reason why we spend so much time explaining what biological stresses are, and then we can start to think about how do we reduce them and how do we counteract them. <laughs>